Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Virgo. The Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, but it's in the reverse. See, you're learning from some kind of mistake here. The Ten of Swords in the reverse. And it's like you're coming out of this, like I said, this oppressive energy. But something here, it's like it's plaguing your mind. Some of you need to make sure that you are grounding yourself, cutting, cleansing, clearing, whatever you need to do. But you don't need to allow whoever or whatever the situation is to um, start to dictate and control like your thoughts. This, this is the energy that's trying to control your mind. This is someone that's a master manipulator okay yeah the six of wands in the reverse see what well, somebody looks it's like somebody is screaming at you like you're not successful you're a failure you're you're no good like this is i don't know if somebody is using word magic or there's been a lot of verbal abuse here but yeah the chariot here you need to keep on moving forward you have to keep mo moving forward just keep going keep going keep going but yeah you you have to get out of whatever this is it's like PSA, SOS, like, it's screaming at you. Like, some, I don't know if somebody, if you have, like, a, a verbal altercation with somebody or this person may not even be talking to you. They, it's like they could be talking about you is what I'm saying. I'm saying somebody, somebody could be walking around and they're talking about you. But if you are an empath and you can feel it, like, this energy from this person is so so negative and so intense, like you can feel it. You know, like this person, they're talking about you or wishing bad or, or ill on you or whatever. This, you know, the gift of cur and curse of, of being an empath. You can feel when somebody is sending a bunch of negative energy towards you. Yeah, look at that, the 10 of Pentacles in the reverse. See, somebody here could be experiencing some type of financial disaster in their life or some kind of major loss with the 10 of Pentacles. Somebody is not receiving something. The Ten of Swords is in the reverse. The Ten of Pentacles is in the reverse. This person, yeah, the Four of Wands, somebody is very upset because they were unable to get themselves out of a situation. So this person could have been in the Ten of Swords. They thought they were going to be able to get out of a situation, but they can't. This person's worst fear, their biggest nightmare is coming true. And and what what the 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 fear is is that they will get karma, and then with the six of wands in the reverse, this person has a fear of not being seen as successful, as victorious. Like this person has a, a I mean, like most narcissists, their ego. This person's ego is very bruised right now. And with the judgment card, it's like spirit is letting this person know this is your fault. This is your fault. You know, this person right now is going through judgment. And they're pissed. Because this person thought that they were going to hop in the chariot and go towards abundance. And everything is turned upside down. Wow. Everything is turned upside down for this person. Ten of Pentacles. This person has all kind of situations coming up. And it's like, I'm talking just bad, bad karma. This person thought they were going to be able to overcome something, but they can't because they didn't learn a lesson here. The lovers is here. Why is the lovers here? Some of you, you have a connection. This could be somebody that has been attacking you because of a connection. This could be a lover. Or this could be anybody, but somebody could be attacking you because... You made a choice with the lovers to love yourself, to get rest, and to heal. The Four of Swords is here. You put something to rest with a person when you saw that it, there was not going to be any victory and success. And somebody is very pissed off. For some of you, like I said, this is a family member. For some of you, this is like a past lover. Somebody thought that they were going to be able to spin the block and come back. Like I said, this is a narcissist that likes to, to hoover. I think that's the term. You know, a narcissist will, will leave you out in the wilderness to rot away. And then when they want energy, they come back. This person thought they were going to come back and they were going to steal energy from you and, and just move on. And, and that they would keep coming back. This person is pissed right now because whatever they were coming in for this time or that they're planning to come in for, it's a ten of pentacles. Without your energy, everything in their life is turned upside down. Yeah, 
You need to rest. Don't allow yourself to fall victim to whatever this mind control manipulation or, or whatever this is that this person is trying to do. With the four of swords here, you, you need to rest, retreat. But again, it's like I said before, it's like a um like this person is sadistic. They enjoy inflicting pain. Like they they enjoy seeing you hurt. <clears throat> yeah, stay, keep yourself at peace. The hangman in the reverse. Exactly. Somebody has hung themselves, literally. With the judgment of the hangman in the reverse. This person now, whatever, whatever, whatever they are discontent with in their life, that they were going to come in and try to steal from you to change, they're stuck with it. That's why they're so upset. Because they're stuck. They can't get out of this. They were, they thought they were going to use you. Look at that Ace of Pentacles. This person was going to move forward and most likely come and steal something from you. And this has to do with prosperity and abundance. Somebody had a plan. And I just had a reading where I said for a lot of you, you're being protected from these astral thieves. Somebody goes in the spirit to steal your blessings. And, the, and the, they, they're a master at this. They're really good at it. This person, whatever they're doing, they go in the spirit and they steal your prosperity and abundance. Something happened. They came in this time and they thought that they would be, they would be able to do this and they can't. The cycle closed. The cycle closed. They ran out of time. The portal closed, whatever. And this reminds me of a dream I had not long ago about like a revolving door. Somebody wanted you in a revolving door, a cycle where th like they could they could swap places with you and you would just be stuck going around and around and around. But what they're doing is they're taking your, your chips, they're taking your prosperity and abundance, your ace of pentacles and trying to walk in your, your light. This person came in to do this this time and Spirit said, uh-uh, the star in the reverse, ten of pentacles in the reverse. You're not gonna walk, you're not gonna take this person's um their wish fulfillment. You're not gonna pretty much like this person, four pentacles. Somebody said, no, you're not about to steal this person's destiny. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Because that's that's what they were coming in to do. Somebody here, four pentacles, they've been holding on to you for dear life. This person is very possessive. They hold on to you for some kind of control for financial security or like I said, for them to manifest abundance they hold on to you this person queen of wands here five of swords in reverse the queen of wands in reverse this person um they could have actually you have the three of swords. This this for some of you this is a lover this person went on to be with the queen of wands in reverse somebody who seduce them, trick them out of whatever. Or they just felt like it was easy for, or this was somebody, it was easy for them to seduce and get this person to conform to their way of living or whatever the case may be. The three of swords in the reverse. I feel like you have to release this situation because whatever the situation is, it probably had you the empress in the reverse because the ace of cups is in the reverse. You weren't receiving any love in this situation. None. This person now, they regret, look, Four of Cups and a Magician, they regret doing whatever this magic or manipulation is because what they've done is they've caused an imbalance in their own life. The Temperance in the reverse. The Temperance in the reverse is somebody who has absolutely no control. They don't do things with any kind of moderation. They lack awareness. This person, this person got caught. Look at that, the emperor. So for some of you, it could be a masculine. This person, and I mean, it could be male or female, but somebody here was abusing their power. Somebody's entire foundation, their stability, their um, whatever power, control they have, the protection that they have. This person could be like married. They could have children. This is a father, father figure, um, a, a boss, whatever. Everything that this person has, they're, they're holding on to it so tightly with the four of pentacles here. This person is holding on to everything because they know. They already know like that they, they are about to lose something. Somebody knew. If they cannot steal this energy from you, 
then that means they're gonna lose something. And somebody has gotten confirmation out like I couldn't I couldn't get it. They couldn't get in to access whatever whatever this ace of pentacles is that belongs to you. They were planning to take this for a new financial beginning for themselves. So it's like spirit was like, okay, yeah, um, divine feminine, divine masculine, you have a new opportunity coming. There's a new job, there's a promotion, business, or whatever. There's a new relationship. This person was going in the spirit. They were sitting there waiting on me with their hand out. Just give it to me, give it to me, waiting on it. And look, the devil. <laughs> Five of swords in the reverse with the devil. This person, I feel like this person right now is they're, they're trying to barter. I heard they're trying to barter with the devil. This person is is trying to ask like they, they want to know now will the devil compromise with them because they got kicked out of your energy. The tower, they got kicked out of your energy before they could get whatever they were planning to take. They made a deal with the devil to, to have the power to do this. But the devil was like, okay, I, I, let, I gave you the power. It's something here for sure about astral traveling. And uh, I've been talking a lot about these different parallel universes and and, and timelines or whatever these different people are doing. But this person, they went to the devil and, and asked the devil. When, they, when this person, the four of pentacles, when they got into some kind of bind, they went to the devil and said, hey, allow me to do X, Y, Z. I'm going to go over here to this divine feminine or masculine. I'm going to steal. And then I'm just going to come back. This person put some kind of blessing on layaway. Right? They, they was like, okay, I'm going to go do this. They can't pay. They, 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 there's no check out here. The tower. This person got kicked out of your energy. If this was a couple, they both got kicked out of your energy. This could be a couple for some of you because it's two people on this card. And here, the, the two of cups is an agreement. This, for a lot of you, is a couple. They made an agreement. We're going to go in. We're going to steal something from their divine feminine. That's going to bring us this prosperity and this abundance. Whatever. Ten of Pentacles on the star in the reverse. They both were planning to use your energy for something. This has been coming out for months. It was for their family, for their abundance, and also with the star for some time. This is for fame and fortune. You were supposed, they were supposed to steal something from you, and it was going to lead them to more fame and fortune. This is a ritual. It's something that they keep doing to bring in prosperity and abundance for themselves. But see, they couldn't get out. They both got kicked out of your energy. If this isn't just you, for some of you, if you are in like a... Um, a divine connection, you and your po your person both, because it shows up like this sometimes, listen to what I'm saying, you and your person both could have a karmic ex that has been trying very hard to come back. Your karmic ex has been kicked out of your energy, their karmic ex has been kicked out of their energy, meaning the two of you now can move forward. If that's not the case for some of you, you just have a couple that's been spiritually attacking you. But sometimes this couple shows up in the reading. They show up like a couple in the reading, but it's actually like a karmic ex of yours and a karmic ex of your person's. Okay? Take it however. It's going to be different for everybody. But there's two people. There's a feminine and there's a masculine. Who have been astral traveling, projecting. These people have been abusing some type of dark occult practices for them to go in the spirit and steal things. Like these people are, are holding people like, like it's, it's spiritual blackmail. Like they're going in the spirit, like holding people hostage, kidnapping them. I'm, I'm talking like stealing. These are, I say like these are the, your astral thieves. They're dark astral thieves. They go in the, in the spirit, in the astral realm, and they just take what they want. And obviously, as above, so below, if they're going in the spirit to steal it, it's showing up in their physical reality. That's the reason why they have the house, the car, the clothes, or whatever they have. It's not theirs. They're stealing it from other people. And apparently, you, you've been a gold mine for this person or this couple. Yeah, look at that. Six of cups in the reverse with the three of swords in the reverse. You let go of this past situation. And it was a third party. This is for a lot of you. It is. It's a couple. Or you have a group, a small, uh, like a coven, a group of friends, family, or whomever. Look, eight of wands, eight of pentacles. These people were working hard. Eight of wands, like I said, to travel towards you, to astral travel towards They put in a lot of work. This is a group. 
This is a covenant. They put in a lot of work to come towards you. Some of you, they, they travel towards you. They were planning to come to your home and do something or they're astral traveling. See, when people are astral traveling and projecting, you don't see them. Most people don't. They put in a lot of work for this because it was supposed to lead them to the Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups in reverse. This this whole dream that they had to do this has been completely shattered. Now they're now they're they're miserable because whatever they thought they were gonna get, they're not gonna get it. These people thought that they were gonna make you the Empress in the reverse. That they were going to steal whatever kind of love you had. Ace of Cups in the reverse. You were supposed to be sick, stagnant, in pain, in deep regret, blocked infertile, <laughs> unable to grow, this dream that they had to cause this kind of imbalance for you has been shattered because it didn't work. Wow. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Man, they, I'm telling you, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is somebody who is lazy, they're not caring. They're not kind. They're not nurturing. They lack motivation. They neglect a lot of their responsibilities. You have here the strength card. You have the you have the strength to move past this. For a lot of you, this is a lot of energy that has been projected onto you. Like I said before, if you've been feeling like lethargic or something like that, somebody is projecting this energy onto you, whether you're the Queen of Pentacles or the Empress. But this could be a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Who knows that you are the empress. This person is projecting because they've been trying to destiny swap with you. They're projecting their energy onto you. So that you will feel like, you know, there is no growth and, and there is nothing happening. That's because this person is like they're experiencing insecurities, doubts, fears, instability in their life. And what spirit is saying, you need to just have the strength and the courage to keep pushing. Just keep pushing. Keep going. Keep going. It's not flesh and blood. You're, re you're wrestling against some kind of spirit or entity. It, it's this Leviathan, Python-like, narcissistic energy that's here. Somebody did not want you to receive any good news or anything. Like somebody was looking in your life and they saw something very great, something exciting coming. And they were sitting there. They was like, no, I want that for myself. Yeah. Look, the Knight of Pentacles here with the ma magician. This, this, whatever this magic is, somebody routinely does this. This card says routine. Somebody, th this is a um, magic or something that they do routinely. Page of Wands in reverse. Every single time, whoever this is, every time they have some kind of issue in their life or they run out of power, control, or energy, they go to do magic. This is, this is how this person, they just re-up constantly by doing magic. King of Wands in the reverse. Somebody here just a liar. Very devious. The King of Wands in the reverse. This person will do anything for power. Anything to be seen. But this is over. The Five of Wands in the reverse and the Four of Wands. Whatever this conflict is, whatever this drama Whatever this this competition this person is in with you, okay, this could be an entire community of people that's competing with you. Like I said, it's definitely looking like a group of people. For a lot of you, it's like a couple. This couple could be a part of some type of group, though. They keep coming against you, but right now they're in deep regret. They regret not having any kind of control and doing this. The Four of Cups with the Tempest in reverse, they definitely regret this. There could be a Sagittarius that's, um, that's doing this or a Sagittarius is being affected by people who are doing this. Yeah, somebody wanted a person to be stuck. Two of swords with the sun in the reverse. The whole goal was to get you stuck so that you could not make a decision to go towards wish fulfillment. So this was something, it was some kind of ritual or, or something that was done so that you would be sad, um, that you would lose something. You would, they want you to lose a gift. Anything that was going to bring you joy. Somebody even went as far for some of you, unfortunately, to try to um, cause you to, to even like miscarry. Like whatever is a blessing in your life. Yeah, five of cups. Somebody, whatever is a blessing in your life, somebody wanted to steal it. But this five of cups is in the reverse. 
So even if you have a period of being indecisive, being feeling a little bit stuck, stagnant, um, disconnected, the Five of Cups in reverse is saying that you're still going to be able to move forward. Somebody is still going to have security and stability because it belongs to you. Yeah, look at that. The High Priest is in reverse. You have here the Temperance in the reverse and the High Priest is in the reverse. Wow. Somebody here has gone crazy with this spell work. Like they are just misusing and abusing their intuition with, with like high levels of, of magic and manipulation. Nine of Wands. This has been an ongoing battle. This also too, this high priestess and this temperance, if you are a high priestess or in this energy of like this earth angel temperance, like shamanic type of healing energy, you've been in this ongoing battle for a long time with whoever this is. When it comes to you having this passion, new beginning to, to have the nine of pentacles, like somebody here every single time. And it's something about money. Every single time there's a new beginning here and you're supposed to come into some kind of abundance, there's this is a hex of curse that somebody is doing. Somebody is draining a person's um, ability to manifest security and stability. And I said a few weeks ago, it's like someone's birthright to wealth is going to be returned to them, but you're going to have to get out of whatever this, this warfare is. This has been an ongoing battle. I feel like there's a person out here who was actually a high priestess or this temperance angel type of energy. Somebody keeps trying to turn your energy, like they're trying to turn everything upside down. So what they're doing is they're doing something energetically and spiritually so that you won't actually be a vibrational match for these, these blessings that are supposed to come towards you. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is also that somebody will be in poverty. Somebody just wants you single in poverty and without like somebody does not want you to have anything. The seven of swords is in the reverse. So something is coming to light about this situation. Look, five of pentacles in the reverse. And somebody is getting caught up now with whatever they're doing. And that's the reason why now it's like somebody. It's frustrated because they're losing everything. The fool card is here. This person was a fool. Um, but I feel like you're going to have an opportunity to take a, a leap of faith. To start your own fool's journey away from this person or this situation. Whatever this is, it's out of your energy now. Like, it's it's gone. The Eight of Cups is here in the reverse. Here's a Justice card. It's a decision being made. Somebody's turning their back on something. King of Swords. Somebody could be making a decision also, too, to seek some kind of legal counsel. At this point, with the Justice card here, the Two of Wands, and the King of Swords, somebody is going to make a decision very soon to either take somebody seriously to spiritual court or like to actually take like legal action against the person. Like if somebody has been stealing something from you, especially if you can find proof of it, like somebody is going to take somebody, take them down seriously because yeah, seven of cups, somebody has been robbing you in your dreams. This could be a Taurus, Hierophant, Knight of Wands, and then the Ten of Cups in reverse. This is somebody here who is like um, very unconventional. They could be an occultist or something. This person knows a lot about dream work and astral travel, and they're passionate about coming towards you. Like I said, this is a sadistic person. This person takes a lot of passion in making sure that your Ten of Cups energy is always upside down. They want you to have a very unhappy home very unhappy family. They don't want you to have security, stability, nothing. If you have good news coming in, this person, they're like, no. They come in every single time. They come in every single time to steal this. And I feel like this person, they find, they've gotten caught. 
Yeah, you have the Hermit in reverse with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody here is about to really, really go under with their business. If this person has a business or they're trying to maintain any kind of high profile life or something like that, they are about to become so paranoid. This person is, is like very afraid because I'm telling you, in order for them to be able to move forward, it, it feels like I keep getting 10 years, 10 years. It's almost like if in order for this person to have financial security for the next 10 years or for the next, it could be 10 months or 10 years. I don't know if they do this like every year or what, but for this person to secure something for themselves for maybe the next 10 years, there was something here that they did like where it was to steal everything from you, to take your blessing. This person was planning to live your life for like the next 10 years, the next 10 months or 10 years. But it's like, this is a ritual. They they keep doing this over and over. And I've been saying for some of you, literally somebody else has been living your life. Like somebody successfully destiny swapped with you, maybe close to 10 years ago. They successfully, this person is literally right now, they are living your life. They came back in to do this again and it's not working. So now they're like, oh, whoa, what am I going to do now? Because see, they can't actually have this type of lifestyle without your energy. Page of Swords in reverse. This person is watching you. They're stalking you. They're spying on you. This is illegal surveillance or a lot of divination spying. And they don't care how you feel about it. They don't care. They're like, you need to give me whatever it is that you have. Yeah, the moon. They do this at night, especially. And in your dreams, it's a lot of cards I hear about dreams. This person stalks you. In the spirit realm, in your dreams, when you're unconscious and they go in the dreams and they create illusions. This person is twisting and, and changing all of your dreams. They're going in your dreams to see what exactly are you dreaming about? What, what's coming in for you? And the, it's like that, it, like they're just going in. Um, and see, this is why you have to be careful, too, of people who um, in the spiritual community, healing community, because I'm going to tell you what I'm getting here. Somebody here knows how to go into, um, this is some type of form of hypnosis. You know, like, like how past life regression works. This person is, because I'm seeing somebody, you know, like, like, it's like somebody is scrolling through your memories, like your memories. They're just scrolling through like, hmm, what is this? Oh, Oh, so this is who you were in the past like. Oh, so this is what you have coming up in the future. Oh, so this is who you like. This is who you love. This is what you're thinking about. They just go through your memories, your energy, and they just pick and choose. Okay, well, I want that. Oh, so you're supposed to be getting married in the next few years. Oh, no, I want that. And for some of you, this could be somebody who studies even like astrology. They're looking at your natal chart or the, like the synastry or the different transits, and they're like, oh, so it looks like here, you know, in the next 18 months, you're supposed to, to be married or something like that. They all go and do rituals to make sure that if you're supposed to meet somebody in a certain month, according to your birth chart or whatever, that you don't meet that person. Like they will strategically do things with magic to stop everything that you're doing. Literally, I'm telling you. Like they're doing something and I've been saying this. That, that Queen of the Moon reading that I did like a year ago, maybe even two years ago, this is somebody who is spiritually stalking you. And a lot of you, you have multiple people that's doing it. But this is somebody that, you know, this person gets in your dreams. But I'm telling you, it's something here about um, a person being able to go into some kind of meditative state. It's like this person goes into some kind of meditative state and they somehow, well, I guess they actually travel and project into your dreams, into your energy. So whatever you're seeing, they're seeing it. All I hear is sirens right now. Sirens, sirens. A lot of them. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but... That's a lot of, I, 
something here. It's it's like, yeah, ring the alarm. A lot of people say when they hear sirens, it, it's for them, it's the omen of like Archangel Michael. But I'm telling somebody here, they keep doing this, and I feel like they've gotten caught. Look, the three of wands with the death in the reverse. Ten of wands in the reverse. The ten of wands in the reverse is like something here. It's just, it's faded. This is it. It's like beating a dead horse here. And then the death card in the reverse. Somebody keeps doing the same thing over and over. Like they're beating a dead horse and trying to steal something from you or block something. But the three of wands in the reverse, it's, it's something is not coming in. Somebody was hoping that their ships would come in with this. It's not coming in. It's not going to go according to whatever their plans were. It's not. Page of Cups in the reverse. You don't want this offer. King of Pentacles, like I said, could be a tourist involved. A Queen of Swords. I feel like right now, though, you put, you're the Queen of Swords. You're saying no. You're not making a heart over. You're making a head over heart decision. You can see through this situation and you're standing up for yourself. You're being very analytical, very intelligent and smart. You're not leading with your heart in this situation because you know that somebody is definitely doing something to try to force you to give up. The seven of wands, this person wants you to let your guard down and they want you to give up. They want you to just fold, to cave in. What is that? Like, whatever. I, we, no need for us to beat be the same dead horse that they trying to beat, right? <laughs> because that's what this person is doing. They're like, what? I feel like somebody, um, for some of you, whatever they've been doing, as far as like with this divination, like somebody is beat. They're like, let me in, let me in. I just heard a rap song and I, I'm hearing the lyrics. I don't I can't remember who it who it was who sang that song. Hold on. But I know for a sure fact what I'm hearing is been over let me in. So somebody could be trying to do something to you um even sexually in your at night in your dream state. Is it bend, bend over, let me see it, let me in or something, they say. So somebody is upset because they can't come in and take something from you. Oh, wow. This person, for a lot of you, this is some kind of sex magic or something. This person is upset that they cannot connect with you sexually. They can't seem to attach something to you sexually. That's the problem. So for some of you, this is somebody that you won't deal with. Oh, wow. Okay. You won't deal with this person physically. So this person, what they've been trying to do is to come in and spiritually... I don't want the video to, to get, but this person is trying to come in and spiritually violate you sexually. So it's like, it's forced. It's very forceful. Like I said, sadistic. This person's like, well, if you want if this, for some of you could be an entity, to be honest. It's like, well, if you won't give me what I want, you won't give me your gift. Your gift is your, your, your sacred energy, your, your sexual, um, this solar plexus sexual uh, I'm sorry, um, sacral energy. They're like, if you won't give it to me, for me to manifest with it, then I'm going to come in and steal it. Wow. Oh my gosh. This person is trying to dominate and literally like steal somebody's essence. Possibly when, when you're sleeping. For some of you, this person, they, they do this. They're actual channeling and projecting like trying to come in and sleep with you so that they can steal all your energy. This is a person doing this or this person is working with some type of entity. Like somebody is, is sending an entity out to you. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. Yo, that's crazy. This person's like, well, if I can't come, if I can't come over there and do what I want to do and steal your energy, then I'll just attack you. You know, I I will I will put something on you that's gonna attack you. I, you you're gonna give me what I want. Is look, someone is sucking up your energy, energy vampire. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. But like, you don't want to do what I, what I want you to do. I'll take it then. Because they're desperate. This person is desperate for your energy. They need it. They need to be able to still, they need this, this energy for them to manifest. Wow. This could be an artist or a musician. You could be an artist or a musician. A male relative. What? Court. Lord. Government and politics. Something here is involving the government or something political. You can have a male relative that's an artist or musician. Wow. Oh my goodness. I, I don't even. Oh. Removing, it says ghosted, removing self from a situation, childhood memories or trauma, meditation. I don't know what happened here. If there is some kind of, like, there is some kind of violation that has happened. And this could be within a family situation. If this isn't happening to you, you're tied to this some kind of way. Like you could have been connected to somebody and they have some some different secrets about stuff going on in their family, but they could they could have a, a relative that's spiritually attacking you. I don't know why this is coming up, but it is. So you could have a person that you've left behind. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You left somebody behind, possibly. They have a friend or family member or somebody that is trying to violate you. So that they can steal your energy. So somebody knows something about you energetically. And it comes from another person. And somebody's like, well, I, I want to I wanna hit on that too. Oh my goodness. Friends, enjoying time with friends and thief. Look. And here's the it says the X. So somebody has a group of friends who are artists. That they hang out with. But there's a male relative out here who's some kind of thief. So you can have a male relative that's hanging out with people. But somebody in this group is possibly a, like an occultist or something. Somebody has targeted like the divine feminine energy and they're trying to stick. Look. Court. Family trauma. Celebration. Public humiliation under government and politics. So something here is going to be exposed. A male, it's a male friend, a male relative out here. This is like maybe a like a male cousin or something. This is something you removed yourself from this situation. Holiday, an upcoming holiday may be important. So I mean, we just had New Year's. Somebody could have a birthday. In January, I mean a holiday, it could be a birthday. You ghosted something here. So you ghosted a situation with somebody who may have some kind of childhood trauma of some sort. You may be somebody that's really into healing or meditation. 
you left the situation alone. But it's like somebody did something to turn like a whole group of people against you. To the point where it's like somebody's like their friends and relatives have been stealing your energy. Graduating. But see, again, it's like treated well, shooting your shot, intimacy. Some of you, it's like you moved on, but this is happening in the background. Some so somebody. Somebody has somehow uh, gotten into your energy, but it was a violation. That's the reason why a lot of you, you, you probably you're like, where does this come from? Somebody has, has sp like spiritually and sexually violated a person. And now that there is some kind of, um, I don't know if you've been cord cutting or, or what's happening. Somebody can't get back in your energy and they're like, oh my gosh, like what are we gonna do now? Like we I need that energy. Look, older man, same sex relationship, testing the waters. Somebody out here has been dealing with like this is a man who's been dealing with another man, possibly. Or they like they have childhood trauma. So somebody, this has come out a few times. I don't even know what this, and I, I normally don't use this day. So somebody out here who is popular could be an artist or musician. They they could be famous even. This somebody out here has been violated, possibly by someone of the same sex. But it's like this violation or this trauma. This person now they they test the waters. They've been doing this, and what they're doing is they're saying, well, it's because of childhood trauma, or whatever the case may be. They haven't healed from some kind of violation. But what this person is doing out is they're going out violating people. And it's like, well, if you, I'm telling you, this person say, if you won't give me what I want, I will take it. And I'm going to be honest with you, for some of you, this divine feminine energy could be a one, could be a man. Divine feminists can be men too. This literally could be a man who is trying to spiritually bully another man in, in some cases. Because there, there, there is no, there is no cards out here of a feminine other than this one card where it's saying that a feminine literally has ghosted a situation and you're moving on up. And uh, so somebody out here, you could be somebody who has um become like, I, I don't know, a yoga instructor, or a healer, or a Reiki teacher or something. You moved away from something toxic. If this was a group of like artists, musicians, nothing against artists, musicians, but if you felt like something here was just not really aligned with you spiritually, you moved on and you maybe, you know, took your own healing path or journey or whatever. But somebody out here who has been dibbling and dabbling, perhaps in like the same sex or um, they're into some type of occult practice, people who are, you know, into stuff like that, like... Oftentimes they're they're sleeping with the same sex or whatever. Somebody could have told a person, you know, to be initiated in this group or to have popularity or fame. You need to do this, and they did it. But somebody in this group, how like how do you how are you connect? Somebody wants you to be afraid and uncertain about something. Somebody is spiritually attacking you, like they want you to kind of feel like you're just going around and around, but you're the sweetheart. I don't know. It's some type of lie or something here. Bad weather or a bad storm is brewing. Somebody here is about to end up sick. Secret admirer storm is brewing, brewing the other man's seducer. Somebody out here could be in the industry, beauty industry. So there could be a man out here who is actually has been like sleeping with a, another man and it, it could be a man who's in the beauty industry or an artist or something like that. Narcissist drinking, new car. Somebody could be out here trying to do this because they want to, I don't know. Like somebody has been testing the waters out with like the same sex. Maybe somebody older than them, the same sex, somebody with some kind of, power, control, money, or whatever, 
This may have been for some kind of popularity, fame, or money. This this doesn't have, if you're a divine feminine, this doesn't really have anything to do with you. It doesn't. This is something you left, you like, you're not actually connected to this person or this situation. Not anymore. But somebody is spiritually attacking you. Somebody wants your energy. Look, I voted. There could be a politician or something out here. Expensive gift. Somebody did something for money. And somebody could be in the beauty industry. Somebody was contemplating on whether or not they should do this for some kind of like level up or something. I don't know. Backstabber. I don't know. This too much. Something out here. Else. Somebody, I don't know. Maybe somebody feels like you know this information and they're trying to silence you by attacking you or something. But it's like somebody is definitely trying to um, get in some kind of way. It says the person calls you negativity is a water sign. Block crown shop. Somebody is trying to get into your energy. They're trying to get into your energy somehow. And I'm assuming it's because they want to know what you know or something. Or they want to confuse you. Be careful of, of drinking alcohol. Especially around people. If you're celebrating with friends. Somebody is, is causing um, you to miss out or lose an opportunity. Lavender, sage may be helpful to you to clear away negative thoughts. It says tap into your intuition. You already know who this person is. What? Ancestors, angels, spirit guides, gods, goddesses, they have your back. Like I said, it's the same thing I said before. It's like this is a very just evil, nasty, sadistic, like narcissistic person. This person is wanting to destroy you because... I don't, I, I don't know. Feminine hater. This is a, this is a man doing this. Altering your values and morals on making life decisions. White sage, black male digging a little dirt on you to use later. Black obsidian, Jupiter retro, retrograde. Problems with making important life changes for future benefits, expansion, abundance, and block solar plexus. See, your, your will, this person is trying to block you so that you don't have the willpower or the determination to do anything in your life. Your ex is praying on the downfall of your new love interest. So for some of you copycat trying to be just like you and do everything you do, you may want to practice a return to sender spell or ritual. So you have somebody here who is upset that you walked away from a situation. And I'm assuming that right now they're they're about to be found out. Something about this person is possibly about to be exposed. So they're trying to now get into your energy or they're using like some kind of coven of people or whatever to get into your energy. And this is so that they can make you miss an opportunity. But they're also like they're... Um, they're spiritually, they're, they want to know what you know, how you know. Like somebody, I don't know, with this, the fame and popularity and artists, some of you, maybe you have a platform or something like that. Because somebody, you're, you're either, I'm assuming that you've spoken out about something. 